Thank you. Um, first of all, I'm going to go downstairs because I'm very tired. I don't, I don't like being on stage. The question is if it's a documentary or a, a fiction film. And, um, obviously, it's a documentary. Uh, it is. It is not a typical documentary, and I think um, that the fact that it looks and feels like a fiction film is a very big compliment, compliment for a documentary film. But uh, I can say that um, it is uh, almost uh, absolutely at all. Uh, there's a, a, almost uh, no kind of directing there. It's just observing with the camera, being trying to not intervene in any kind in the shot, in the actions, in the dialogues. Um, it was just a lot of footage, uh, a lot of ob observation, and then choosing the right uh, things to, to put on uh, the final version on the screen. Uh, and to, if it was not clear for anyone, you should know that they are my grandparents. It's something that uh, I don't usually say in the beginning because I don't want. I I am. Old. I think through this film I became a filmmaker and I want the film to be seen as a film and not as a family story or amateur family film. So this is why I don't say it in the beginning, but usually I say it after. So um, that's the truth. And, yeah. Any questions? Please. Yes, I was. Uh, I studied in film school in Bucharest. Uh, I studied editing and sound, so I didn't study directing. And uh, while I was a student, I had a great opportunity to work as uh, assistant editor uh, on a film that Francis Ford Coppola made in Romania called Youth Without Youth. Uh, and uh, I worked. I, I was Walter Murch's assistant. If you know what Walter Murch is, he basically invented. Uh, the word sound design and he made Apocalypse Now and Godfather uh, and uh, many films and, and has three Oscars and uh, the way that my film is related to them is that I, sh I started shooting uh, when I was still working for Coppola I just bought the camera from the money I was making there and I just started shooting my grandparents so this actually started as an amateur uh, family film um, and when I, when I finished working for, for Coppola and for Merch, uh, I gave them a um, carpet, a little carpet that my grandmother has made. Uh, and I thought that it would be a much more special gift if I would show where the carpet comes from. So I put together a little film of 20 something minutes to, just to give them with the carpet. And Walter Merch was the one who told me, you have a film here and you should, you should really think uh, about it uh, seriously and, and make a film. And later on, uh, he has reviewed uh, my rough cut uh, and he gave me feedback on the scenes that he considered to be more important, more interesting, and on the structure. So, yeah, I have his name on the credits, and it's not just because he's my idol, but because uh, he actually helped Walter much. Sorry, not not all of it. Can you repeat? Ah, oh, we.
Polish village. Uh, it's near Piatra Nemz. Uh, it's called Gurcina. Um, it's yeah, where my grandparents are. Nothing written anywhere. This information. It is on the credits actually. It says uh, villagers of uh, of uh, of the village Gurcina. Because, uh, of course, it's almost all the village appearing at some point in the film. <laughs> uh, and actually, I, I, in September last year, I managed to make a screening of the film in the village. It was quite an uh, extraordinary experience. I, uh, it was an open-air screening in the courtyard of the, of the mayor's office. Uh, so I brought equipment and everyone came in the village and everyone watched the film. It was and uh, of course with Constantine and Elena there. It was quite uh, amazing. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. 